World of Dentistry. Dental solutions for your dental needs. Tooth internal resorption. Hi there. Today we will talk about an uncommon but significant condition that can affect oral health. It's called internal resorption of the tooth, also known as root resorption. Internal resorption of the tooth is a lesion that affects one or several parts of the tooth, which usually begins on the outside and spreads towards the interior of the dental piece. Although in baby teeth, it is a normal process in the development of permanent teeth, in adults, it is a sign of a dental injury that can cause other damages, including tooth loss. Which parts of the tooth are affected by internal resorption? Root resorption can affect the inner pulp, the cement covering the root, the dentin underneath the enamel, and the root itself. This condition can be a cause of infections, twisted teeth, tooth loss, and other situations that affect teeth, gums, and the jaw. What causes internal resorption of the tooth? Frequently, root resorption is a consequence of a physical injury to a tooth or an inflammation inside the dental piece due to untreated decay. It can also be a subsequent effect of a previous dental procedure that affected the affected piece. Long-term use of orthodontic devices, chronic teeth grinding, or frequent teeth whitening are other circumstances that can cause internal resorption of the tooth. What are the symptoms of internal resorption of the tooth? Generally, internal resorption is asymptomatic and is detected when it is in an advanced stage, generating the decomposition of the tooth from the outside inward. Some warning signs include holes in the teeth, dark or pinkish discoloration of the teeth, loose teeth, teeth that chip easily, pain in the root, crown, or inside a tooth, abnormal space between teeth, and inflammation and redness of the gums. How is internal resorption of the tooth diagnosed? The method for diagnosing resorption depends on the part of the tooth that is affected, and it is essential to know the person's medical history, as traumas, crown interventions, pulp treatments, orthodontic procedures, whitening, surgical interventions near the roots, or periodontal disease may be related to the root resorption process. One alternative for the diagnosis of resorption is the physical examination to observe color changes in the tooth crown. Perform contrast sensitivity, mobility and percussion tests, heat slash cold. The dark stains in the teeth, characteristic of internal resorption, become visible on an x-ray, as well as other variables. How is internal resorption of the tooth treated? The treatment for internal resorption of the tooth depends on the severity of the damage and the part of the tooth affected. It is important to see an oral health specialist for any symptoms of resorption to receive timely diagnosis and treatment. In some mild cases, the dentist can treat resorption with a procedure known as pulpotomy, in which a portion of the tooth pulp is extracted to stop the progression of the lesion. Then, dental crown reconstruction is performed to prevent a fracture. When resorption is more advanced, the dentist may recommend an endodontic treatment, which is an intervention that consists of removing the affected pulp and replacing it with filling material. Endodontic treatment can be a complex procedure that requires several sessions, but it can save the dental piece if performed timely. In more severe cases, the only option may be to extract the affected tooth and replace it with a dental prosthesis, implant, or dental bridge. How can internal resorption of the tooth be prevented? The best way to prevent internal resorption of the tooth is to maintain good oral hygiene, including regular brushing and flossing. It is also essential to have a healthy diet and reduce the consumption of sugary drinks and foods that can cause decay. It is important not to grind your teeth and to avoid excessive use of orthodontic devices. If you are undergoing orthodontic treatment, you should follow your dentist's instructions and attend regular checkups to avoid complications. Additionally, it is crucial to visit the dentist for regular checkups, as this allows early detection of problems and prevents major complications. In conclusion, internal resorption of the tooth is a rare but serious injury that can lead to major complications if not treated promptly. 
It is important to know the causes, symptoms, and treatment to prevent and effectively treat root resorption and maintain good oral health. That's all for today. We hope this video has been useful to better understand the today's topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information.